Namaskar and welcome to Adi Yoga. Today we are going to talk about seven prominent mudras for your seven chakras. I kept it with myself for some time and now is the time to give it away. So the thing is why I'm here I wanted to tell you I will share one screenshot of one email that's that's a guy young guy trying to activate his kundalini by his own methods learning through youtube videos listening to some masters who are no more here presently in physical state like Osho. What happened? Kundalini rise, pierced the wrong chakra at the wrong time, life disturbed, full on disturbed. It doesn't mean that these mudras will bring you enlightenment or raise your Kundalini. Maybe your, your process is something else. Maybe you will get your enlightenment through mantra chant, maybe through physical practices, maybe through mudras as well. That's why I say always consult before you start practicing. It doesn't take much. You want your journey in an exact, precise way. Do not just go there and find, ah, there's nothing there. This is the importance of a guru. Otherwise, guru is not required. Everybody has guru within them. But you took it literally. Before you rose to the guru state, you think, yo, your inner guru is guiding you. No, it's not. That is your ego or desire guiding you. And people who have skipped this part, they will miss it. Knowledge comes from the guru, the eternal guru. Listen to that. And this is the listening and this is the answer. Take consultation. See what you are required to do to attain your moksha. What is your pathway? Then only start walking. And if you are walking like anything, then there is you are wasting your time. You will get nothing out of it. And then you will say, oh, nothing happens with mudras. Oh, nothing happens with chanting. There is no deity, there is no God. But you know, but you know, there is, yeah? I don't want to extend this video too far. Go watch the mudras. We'll see who are serious seekers or just scrolling another video. Scroll, skip this video if you're not serious. I don't mind. Otherwise, you can subscribe or like it also. Who cares? These mudras are quite secretly practiced in the yogic culture throughout the world especially in the far eastern side. So first mudra, you bring your hands together, interlock your fingers, first finger, index finger together and straight, thumb straight up. You keep this hand gesture under your belly button under your belly button. Uh, I don't think so if you can see me, but under your belly button. Keep it like this, straight. Whole attention is at the root chakra. Just pay attention at root chakra with this mudra. You will see the difference. This mudra is quite creative in nature to fill your desires, but keep a good desire. Desires can burn you. These mudras come with a warning. Keep good desires. Now for the next mudra, again, interlock all of your fingers. Same posture. From the root chakra we are starting. Now bring your middle finger and cross it. Bring it over the top and curl it from hair to hair. 
you bring this from here to here and interlock it bring it as far as possible do not put much stress again this mudra you will keep the hands under your belly button this is at swadhisthan chakra your whole attention should be at swadhisthan chakra now swadhisthan chakra is related with immense power kundalini sits here this is the place of madurga it takes away your enemies at the same time if you have bad desires it will burn you rapidly that's why keep good desires then you move into this position now the next mudra in the solar plex mudra you interlock your fingers inward from here and bring last two fingers out i hope you can see this bring it in and this thumbs up this will be your mudra for the solar plexus now next mudra the warning with solar plexus if your root chakra and swadhisthan is not sorted your manipur chakra will burn you with your ego mind before you practice this mudra but it's very powerful this whole set of seven mudras will change your life now comes the heart chakra now in heart chakra now first two fingers were in at the solar plexus now you bring middle two fingers in inward and then make it like this this will be your heart chakra mudra now this mudra taking energy from your solar plexus it will pierce down the heart chakra when it piercing up a lot of emotional release will happen let it happen but if your root chakra is not sorted this will keep on going for long which is not good now let's move to the throat chakra throat chakra now your inner two fingers were in middle two fingers were inside the fist now in this all of the fingers inward you interlock them and cross it bring your fist try to bring your palm together and thumbs over the top this this will be your throat chakra mudra it is very powerful very powerful then you start with third eye many people are just waiting for the third eye mudra okay what you do now the same mudra your palm was joining together but you now open your palm and your thumb rest one over the other just opening your palm keep it in your lap now only root chakra and swadhisthan chakra muladhar and swadhisthan root chakra and sol, uh, and sacral chakra in those mudras you will keep your hands just under your navel belly button rest of the mudras can be kept just resting in your lap now third eye mudra is done here energy becomes quite rapid your attention should be at your chakra then comes interesting part agna chakra we call it agna chakra now you call it positive and the negative because there are two parts a or b call it anything the second part of is behind your skull where the spine is meeting the skull now for that you bring your hands together in this form and bring your hands extend your hands forward and bring your attention there this mudra this mudra 
is immensely powerful to create if you want to create something then comes crown chakra sahasrar take one finger grab it with the rest of the fingers just like this and press your thumb over the index finger and keep it here on your chest hold attention at your crown chakra that is the final set you practice these seven mudras and hopefully this will lead you to your kundalini activation and samadhi practice and then comment i would love to see your comments until next video namaskar